Welcome back, everybody. Eight oh. It's right there. Oh no! I was waiting. I was waiting. He's waiting for the top waiting. of a new minute. Uh -huh. Okay. I want to start fresh. You're starting <laughs> fresh. You're starting fresh. <laughs> Lions today. Tampa Bay. It's going to be hot, actually, for the Lions I players. I go for that because it's going to be in the low 80s in Tampa mm -hmm. today. Mostly mm -hmm. sunny skies That's compared comfy. to our 50s today. Uh -huh. Although we are seeing just a little bit of sunshine trying mm -hmm. to get through some of that cloud cover Peaking early through. this morning. Just a little Peaking. bit. But you know what? Not mad about it. Not after what we've had for the most of last I week. Will take, uh, I'll take any little bit of sunshine we can get right now. Tower cam over downtown Detroit overlooking the Ambassador Bridge this morning as the Detroit Free Press Marathon in full swing heading over into Windsor. Definitely a chilly start for it this morning. Most everybody starting off into the 40s. 44 right now as you work over into Monroe. 46 right now up in Pontiac. 42 as you work up into Howell. We're sitting at 49 right now here in Detroit. That north Northerly to northwesterly wind is what's going to keep us on the chilly side of things today, as well as give us the chance for some scattered showers, especially into this afternoon. We've got two upper level disturbances we're dealing with or upper level troughs, one off to the north of Toronto, working up into the Great Lakes, then one down into the Ohio Valley. Both of those pivoting around an area of low pressure well off to the northeast of Maine. That's giving us our northerly to northwesterly flow off the Great Lakes, which is going to keep us a little on the cloudy side of things for the next couple days. By three to four o'clock this afternoon, we are going to bring in the chance of showers. Best chance of showers should be up into the thumb, but we're not going to rule it out for anyone as we head into this afternoon. We keep the cloud cover into the forecast by 11 o'clock tonight with a stray shower or two again up toward Port Huron and heading up into the thumb. And that's the same story as we head into Monday. I'm going to hold on to isolated showers, but the cloud cover holds tough for most of the day with those showers up toward the thumb, but I think we wind those down by late Monday night and we start to break up that cloud cover and get some sunshine in here as we head into our Tuesday. The winds are going to remain a little gusty for about the next 36 hours, gusting upwards of 20 to 25 miles an hour by the time we get to 3 to 4 o'clock this afternoon, and they stay in that range overnight tonight and heading out the door early tomorrow morning. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, winds gusting upwards of 20, possibly 25 miles an hour. But the further we go on into our Monday, I'm expecting those winds to relax a little bit, especially toward the drive time home Monday afternoon and heading into Monday evening. Dry weather moves in as we go from Tuesday and into Wednesday, but it's short lived. Rain's back in the forecast again for the end of next week, where we really start to ramp up those rain chances, especially from Friday and into the first half of next weekend. So for the free press marathon today, temperatures into the 40s until late this morning, and then we head into the low 50s. But once you factor in that wind gusting upwards of 20 to 25 miles an hour, it's going to feel a little chillier, a little bit chillier than it actually is outside. We'll top out at 53 today before dropping into the upper 40s by the mid evening hours tonight. We keep the isolated shower into the forecast tomorrow, but most places stay dry. So we see some sunshine move in for Tuesday with more cloud cover by Wednesday with rain chances back into the forecast by the end of next week.